nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight vlog today I don't really have anything big planned I mean but who cares right it's a vlog but I'm gonna talk fast because my battery's gone dead and I want to get this done before we head out anyways we're gonna head outside um, John's friend came and done a little bit of work he owns a ground moving business I don't know excavating type things um, he owns lots of different things we only have the skid steer granted he brought a skid steer but he has tracks anyways um, He's gonna help John get the basement going quicker because he does have more equipment. John's also at work. John trusts very few people, very few people, um, to do anything, especially with him not around. His friend is definitely, friend, colleague, I don't know, he does all the work that they need done and they hire him, they hire out his help. Anyways, um, there's very few people John trusts. He is one of them. So he um, came and done some work here this morning I wanted to go down and get a before because I knew he was supposed to come today, but he came way earlier than I expected, um, so we didn't get to do that. But we're going to go out and just see what he done because we've not been out there. So uh, let's go change this battery and then we'll go out together. Coffee. Yesterday it was freezing out here. Today it's like 45, but it feels pretty good. Um, we're going to go out here and see. We have neighbors on the, that side of us um and they're outside i well at least one of them is somebody is anyways i hear them they're messing with the truck maybe they just went in i don't know um so there probably won't be much talking i just walked some trash down i'm out of breath who have i become trying to walk over here and see what he done i don't know what the plan was nobody talked to me that's nothing new but i don't know what he was planning on doing today but we're gonna go see what he done so let's go. Ew. Ew. Oh my goodness. He really got it done. I don't know. Um, yesterday is when I moved. We and John moved the go-kart. I think I got a little bit of footage of him but i don't know what the plan was but dang so all of this has to go the columns will be getting moved of course because that's our support so oh my goodness so he moved all of this So he, he wasn't here long at all either, and he got a lot done. Um, we're not sure how far back it will be going or how far over yet. We're just, it's a process. It's a, we're doing as we go type thing. So, pretty excited about it. Not going to lie. Okay. 
And when he leveled this off more, I hadn't noticed that. So yeah, that's the start of our basement. All right, so we're going, bless you. Um, we're gonna get some chicken marinating. I only got froze chicken. We're gonna leave it sitting out in some cool water to help it thaw. Um, I wanted my ribs for dinner tonight. We have some in the refrigerator that I need to make. He runs through the house like a horse. Like he weighs 67 pounds. How do you make that much noise? Um, I wanted to make the ribs, but I realized that I forgot my full paper. We had family Christmas. I took it because there's always somebody forgetting something. And um, we had our family Christmas at my sister's church. But anyways, um, I took the full paper in case, you know, we in case somebody needed it. Nobody needed it, but I took it in the church anyways. Or did somebody need it? Yes, my sister actually did use it. Um, but anyways, that doesn't matter. What matters is I left it there. It was a whole roll. I had opened it and used it on Christmas. It's fine. It's not a big deal, except for I needed it in order to make those ribs. Girl, I will just pick up some more. But, um, yeah, we're going to marinate some chicken here. I just got a big bowl, and we're going to spin through this thing and find some stuff to put in it because I've just been playing around with some of these seasonings because, to be honest, I don't know what some of these are. Like coriander. I don't know what that is. I don't know what you use that for. This is rosemary. I know people always use this on chicken. You want me to peel that for you? I right, like to dice it up. You want it peeled or diced or both? Cut into slices. I don't know why I said diced. Basil. Okay. Okay, baby. And then some pink salt. You can't see, but the camera is just set up on top of my spinny thing with my spices in it because my tripods are all either up there or over there and I'm right here. So anyways, we got it all nice and seasoned up. Should I add my water first? We got two cups of water here. I don't use my city water. It's so gross. I'm so envious of people that can just go to the sink and fill up a bottle of water or something and drink it. Not here. It is disgusting. It'd be a good diet tip though. If you want to not eat? Drink the city water, you'll get sick for four days, and then, you know, weight loss. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm rambling. And we're going to put some of this chicken in here. And if we need more water, we will, because we want it to be fully submerged in the water. And I don't know how much we're going to make. This is for the whole family, so a lot. I'm trying to get to where we don't use meat as a main staple, because it's something we used to always do. And then... Um, I think it was Jordan Page. I was watching one of her videos once a long time ago. I need to get back into it to be motivated. But a long time ago, she did not use meat as the main portion of the meal. Use like vegetables and stuff. You're welcome. We've been fighting forever. Gone over this a thousand times before. Baby, it's now or never. Got to
so we're about to start dinner. Um, I take a shower. That's why I look. That's why I look like this. But I'm gonna start dinner here to get me a kitchen towel, so I don't use 40 billion paper towels. Uh, we're just gonna make some. I guess maybe barbecue chicken. Might just do baked chicken, and then the kids can season it how they want. Everybody can. Um, and some mashed potatoes and gravy because I have been making gravy and Jonathan informed me that I never made gravy anymore. And he was right. So I figured we'd make some gravy. We should have some kind of bread. Some kind of carb. Not for me, but for the family. I don't think we do hamburger buns. I think we'll go for that. We've got biscuits. I think we're going to do some biscuits too. The light is terrible. Again, I don't feel like setting up the ring light. Um, but I found these rolls as well that need to get eaten. And then as I was getting the biscuits out, I was thinking about monkey bread. Um, so we're gonna let these biscuits thaw out just a little bit. Thank you, baby. Just turn on a light for me. I'm gonna thaw out these biscuits just a little bit, maybe. And then cut them into pieces. We might have to thaw them out in the microwave and then we're gonna make some monkey bread. It definitely was not monkey bread. With the biscuits and then we'll have dessert for a dinner. I'm not eating it. Um, but yeah, things need to get eaten anyways, so it's a win-win. So what are we gonna do with the chicken? I think we're just gonna cut it up into bite-sized pieces, throw in the oven with some seasoning, with some more seasoning, and then if people want barbecue or teriyaki, they can just do what they want. It's easier where I don't eat the sugar barbecue sauce, I only eat sugar-free, or you know, if I wanted teriyaki, I'd have to use my sugar-free teriyaki, so it's just, Makes it more versatile for the whole family to be able to eat it that way. Again, John's in the living room watching TV and he listens to TV, watches TV super loud. So we'll have to work with it. Almost a whole thing. You want to make them? Yeah. Six. This is six tablespoons. Um, it's down here, baby. It's one of the big ones. I have to move my camera. Yep. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think that'll work. Before we cut these up into a bowl, we're going to put about a half a cup of sugar. Um, I would hope I had brown sugar, but I'm out, so we're just going to use white sugar. Half a cup or so. It's not like it's a big deal. That should be good. And then just some cinnamon. Nope, that's cumin. Definitely don't want that. Some cinnamon. See that? Just 
take the biscuits. Bring it to a bowl, so put it on me. Oh, that's just front. Take it down to five. I don't matter either way. Sprinkle, maybe about a tablespoon or so. Cinnamon. Extra evenly. Sorry, buddy. Ew. What is that? One is all I need. I think I cut another one up today, though. Lily gave me an idea. Um, she said it smelled like cinnamon apples, and so I figured we'd cut up this apple into bite-sized pieces and add it as well. I think that'd be good. This little miss here has a headache. Cry right, baby. It's because she won't drink water. Cry right, baby. Yeah. Yeah, that's biscuits. Do you put that in there? Well did. Yeah. I was going to try and throw the route for him. And then he dropped the route and we took it in rain. That's it. There we go. Oh, it's like the chicken. Lily thought it was chicken. What is that? What? Probably monkey that's bread. No, that's no, like cinnamon sugar. sugar. And butter. It does look like peanut butter though. Now what? Have you cooked? I'm going to put it in the oven after we get the... Yep. And then... Well, you get this. And remember, you hold your... Hold the handle. Hold the handle before you stir. Hold the handle when you start and turn it off so it don't start boiling and popping. Kind of Poppy? Ew. Ooh, it's yeah. Are you scared? <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty. Oh, here we go. Hey. Hey. That's crazy. That's nasty. Ew. Wait, oh my god. All right, so this is that stuff I made. It ended up not being more, it's not really monkey bread. Um, I think I added too much butter, but it tastes really good. I did just try a little bit of it. Um, yeah, it's good. It's just a little ugly. So this is John's. I um, also put some caramel on top. But anyways, um, we're going to go out here. John had done some more work last night. He pulled out some of the columns like he had to do. Um, his friend is supposed to come back today. I don't know if he will or not. He's a super busy person. But he's supposed to come back. So I figured we'd come out here and see just what else went on. I came out here yesterday and was going to um, record a little bit. 
but John had the skid steer right here and I could not get back in there. I mean, I could have crawled and all that stuff, but I ain't into that. Um, so did he turn off the electricity down here? I don't know. Um, but all he did was he barely just dug out any more and he went ahead and took out a couple more columns. Um, we have to go tonight and get some stuff for the plumbing because that is our plumbing. It just lays on the ground down here. Where you at, girl? All of that has to be rerouted and all of that fun stuff. Definitely not fun. Um, we, we thought about putting a bathroom down here and we might eventually do it, but just to start out, I don't think we're going to put one. Um, I would actually prefer it, but in order to do it, we have to put in another septic system or something like that, John said, because, um, it has to be, you know, not ground level and it would be ground level at this point. Maybe eventually we'll put in a bathroom down here. I would like it just to have a toilet, but, um, we'll see. He said there was another way that he could possibly do it, but I don't remember what he said. Uh, but this will be a gym and Jonathan's bathroom. So I would rather him have a bathroom downstairs where he's not having to come upstairs just because you know how dogs are. Any little noise they hear that's not normal, it sends them into a frenzy. At least it does ours. So I'd rather not get woke up at three o'clock in the morning because he has to use the bathroom and the dogs think somebody's trying to break in. So there's that. Um, but yeah, we didn't really get, he didn't get much more done on it, which that wasn't the plan. I mean, he come home from work. He just took out the pillars. He said when he gets home today, we have to go to Lowe's. Um, he doesn't like going places like that by himself. So we have to go to Lowe's to get some plumbing stuff to move all that. And it's slow, but it's, it's coming. I had already showed this where they kind of leveled it off. I mean, it's obviously it's not level, but this tree up here, we well, was going to try to keep it because we've had it for a very long time, but dogs are going insane. Um, in the end, it wasn't worth trying to save. It wasn't worth the hassle. So, um, John went ahead and uprooted it yesterday and cleaned up the flower bed because it had like big stones around it. Um, so yeah, Shrek is gone. That's his name. We named him Shrek just because he grew super fast and, um, he overtook the flower bed. But what is by... A couple more Shreks. I told Lily we buy Shreks babies. I don't remember their names. She said, she told me the girl's name. Felicia? Maybe? I don't know. But we're gonna just do that. Because once it's all done, we need some, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Plants? Landscaping? We'll have to, we're gonna do some landscaping in front of the house once we get to that point. But as you can see, we're not to that point. Tree house dirty porch because it's got toys on it but whatever we got kids so yeah and then we're hoping to level out the yard a little bit more um so that dirt will do that this will not stay that steep um obviously well there'll be he'll fix it to where it's not that steep and then i told him i would like to build like a play yard we're just gonna put a standard door down here nothing extra fancy especially um that's just gonna be a gym and Jonathan's bedroom will be down there and I told him I just want a normal door and then I'd like to have like a play yard out here for the dogs that's fenced in with the doggy door that they can go in and out without um having to be supervised um we used to just let our dogs come out and roam the yard pretty freely I mean we still watched them but we just let them do you know pretty much whatever they wanted to um, and then we've lost, we lost the dog because of that. Everyone got attacked in our own yard twice. Um, the first time she done okay. I'm sorry, there's so much distraction going on here. Um, the first time we took her to the vet and we paid, um, like 500 and some dollars. You know, she done good and survived it. Less than a year later, I think she got attacked again by the same dog in our yard um and took her to the vet spent another 500 and some dollars and she ended up passing away still so every since then i have been super super um anxious about the dogs just free roaming 
So they don't get to be outside as much as they would like to simply because I can't be out here and watch them at all times. I hear a dog right, right there. Um, so, yeah, I figured if we do that, we can fence them in a little area. Is it going to be the most aesthetically pleasing thing in the house? No, no, it is not. But um, it'll bring the dog's happiness. It'll help my ease my anxiety and just... So I think that's what we're going to do. We'll have to wait and see. We're the type of people that, the sun's blinding me, um, we're the type of people that we plan stuff and then we'll completely change our plans or <clears throat> just transition. So the way we are is nothing set in stone till it's set in stone. So um, yeah, I just wanted to throw that in here really quick since we did talk about that yesterday. All right, so I realized I was editing the video and realized I did actually show how I have it set up currently. Um, so this is just for now. I still have not bought the decorations for up here, so it's not complete. That's, that's just how we roll. Um, but this is just what it looks like right now. I wanted to include a little bit of this in the vlog so that, you know, it's done. So, um, cause I don't think I shared it in Thursdays of it actually being done. I need to put that up, but like I said, stuff's not done. I still have to put my little letter board on the wall. Um, I need some shelving. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for a little seat. I'm thinking about getting some of the little poofs. Is that what they're called? Um, the little, like, just little short chairs. Like, adult bean bags is what we're going to call them. I don't know what they are. I thought about getting two and just sitting them there. Um, if I'm doing, like, a vlog or story time or just, you know, talking, I like to just sit in the floor. So, I thought that would be super cute. But, yeah. Right now, at this moment, oh, this is what it looks like. And I really enjoy spending time up here. Um, so I am pretty happy with how it looks. And I want a better chair. This is just a stool that we bought at Lowe's. It was a two pack. We got the one here and then we got the other one just sitting right there. Um, and I just threw a shawl over it that I had. I don't wear anymore. And I just thought it kind of, you know, it looks good. I like how it looks up here. I love it. But this is what it looks like. I just figured I would share because I hadn't actually shared since I moved stuff around and got it situated. It's not permanent, but this is what it looks like right now. And yeah, I guess this is where we're going to sign off. Um, don't forget to come back for more adventures, more projects. You know what we do around here. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Until next time. Bye, guys.